When did drive-in restaurants first appear? INW, the world's first fast food restaurant chain, was the first to offer a drive-in cafe, which launched in 1923. By the mid-1970s, around 60% of competitors had something similar. Drive-ins are now so ingrained in popular culture that they've been mocked and referenced in movies, video games, and books. Several times, manufacturers of automotive accessories intended to make it easier to have breakfast, lunch, and supper with goods like this little table. It fits into the cup holder and can contain not just a burger and fries, but also your smartphone. The 9-inch surface spins 360 degrees and may be readily adjusted in height. When you're not eating anything, the table is useful for keeping little items. Here are some statistics. In the United States, 21% of population belongs to a fitness club, but in the United Kingdom, it is just 17%. So how do the rest of us stay in shape? Manufacturers may give ideal training possibilities with the aid of fitness equipment for the home and business. You can strengthen your wrists using this model. As a result, as well as to grow muscles without putting undue strain on the joints, the gadget weighs only 2 pounds but offers 44 pounds of resistance for your exercise. The model is available in a single size and is universal. The major elements are abs plastic, synthetic rubber, and carbon steel for the springs, and it is reasonably priced at about $25. This five-toed model is similar to Bigfoot, and the creators say that it lets you to walk with your feet in touch with the earth. The shoe is appropriate for intense exercises due to the abundant trek compound, which gives grip on wet surfaces, flexibility, and the ability to exercise even in the cold. And the lacing mechanism is supplemented with a Velcro closure. Some purchasers claim that it takes some time to adjust to the strange sensation of walking and working out in the shoes, but that once adjusted, everything falls into place. So much so that many people refuse to remove their pair at all. The price, however, is more than the last pair and begins at $130. Bigfoot was purportedly observed in Australia, Canada, the United States, and Scandinavia in the year 22. According to its creators, Gaio is the first consumer gaming robot equipped with a sophisticated vision recognition system. It provides first-person combat in the style of a shooter, with the visual presented on your smartphone. The battery will last for an hour, and the programming choices will allow you to fine-tune your tactics and strategy during pauses. It communicates through Wi-Fi within a range of around 230 feet, and it supports one and on and team combat for up to 24 robots at a time. Augmented reality technology will turn every accessible space, inside or out into a battleground. The project has received around $85,000 in funding on Kickstarter, with one robot priced at $295. Do you think it's worthwhile to purchase? This fire extinguisher, which is smaller than an iPhone 14, is another product for automobile drivers. However, size does not important in this situation. This little gadget can extinguish several forms of flames in less than 10 seconds, including solid fires, liquid fires, gas fires, and electric fires. The extinguisher weighs three and a half ounces and has an adhesive base for convenient mounting. It is, of course, helpful not only in the automobile, but also at home, for example, in the kitchen as well as at its location such as switchboards and gas control units. If there is a fire or the temperature exceeds 338 degrees Fahrenheit, the gadget will spray a particular mixture that will extinguish the flames. It costs $40 and has a 10-year service life. What holiday is observed on July 2nd? X-Files fans are probably know the answer for World UFO Day. Roswell took place on July 2, 1947, 
an American farmer discovered unusual debris in his field. The press instantly reported it as a UFO crash, fueling various conspiracy theories. Later, UFO mania swept the globe, and the buzz continues to this day. Thus, different UFO-related devices are popular and in demand. What do you think of this levitating speaker in the shape of a classic saucer 360-degree rotation and stereo, Bluetooth 5.0, and a range of 33 feet, paired with a 1200 milliamp power battery that's 6 to 8 hours of operation, or around 10 episodes of The X-Files? Upright Go-To Unfortunately, up to 80% of the world's population suffers from different postural issues. Fortunately, new technologies emerge on a daily basis. As an example, consider this little device that is ideal for your back. The Upright Go-To has a two-week turnaround time, according to the creators. It is helpful. Simply, the device is secured between the shoulder blades using hypoallergenic adhesive. If the individual is hunching, the patch and vibrate. The strength of vibration may be modified using the iOS and Android apps, which also include individualized training plans, statistics, and the ability to switch between several modes of operation. The gadget is one ounce in weight and may run for up to 30 hours on a single charge. A robust and durable cord may be required at home in the great outdoors, at business, or when on vacation. So a business in the United States created this paracord dispenser with a total supply of 125 feet, which is around the height of a 13-store structure. And when the cord runs out, the device can be readily reloaded. A built-in blade enables you to rapidly cut the cable to the proper length. The gadget weighs just two and three five ounces. In addition to visitors and hunters, possible purchasers include firemen, emergency personnel, handymen, and even law enforcement officials. It costs 17 bucks. IKEA is Swedish, but they also make unique furniture in neighboring Norway. This bedside table, for example, allows lounging on the sofa or bed even more pleasant. After all, it can hold up to 9 pounds of weight and has wireless charging capabilities. Approximately 71% of individuals keep their smartphones close to their beds, so Norwegians have obviously struck the mark. The table is 14 by 12 inches and weighs 4 pounds. The cable for connecting to an outlet is 6.6 feet long, and two ports are offered, USB-A and USB-C, making it a great gift for youngsters and students as stated by the company. This gadget, which is another tool for dealing with wires, has an ergonomic design that is also comfortable for left-handed users and is ideal for one-handed usage. The tool is 5.5 inches long and accommodates common RG6 and RG7 cable types. It keeps stripping and crimping tidy at all times. The tool is built in the United States and comprised of environmentally safe components, ensuring flawless connections every time. Thank you for watching this video on Top Tech Tools. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.